Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and I'm going to do a plan with me for the week of March 25th, 2024. I do my planning in a Hobonichi Hon, which is a hardcover version of the Cousin. Um, it's an A5 size, and it has Tomoe River paper. I'm just going to look at last week, Monday. Um, I didn't have anything scheduled. This is how kind of my day went. Um, I definitely by the end of the week started winding down because I had an all day training on Friday. So um, I kind of mentally went into weekend mode on Thursday. So I didn't jot as many notes. Um, at the training on Friday, I uh, during lunch was watching Leanne Likes uh, flip through of her ink journal. Thank you, Leanne, for posting. It was so enjoyable to watch that. Um, and I have been working on an idea for an upcoming video where, um, and I'll talk about this in the video, but the, the um, inspiration came from somebody in my personal life who has taken an interest in my hobby of fountain pens and asked um, me to set them up with kind of a starter uh, set so that they can see if they enjoy it as well. Um, I went through a series of questions that they found to be really intriguing and ended up um, kind of going to the next person and saying, um, you know, gosh, I had this great experience with Erin. She asked all these really interesting questions and I'm really excited to see what pen and, and such that she picks out. And so that person has now expressed an interest in me doing the same. And so it got me thinking, what information might somebody benefit from having if they're interested in getting into the fountain pen hobby and they don't want to spend a ton of money. So I wanted to talk about some places that you can get the supplies, some uh, characteristics of the pen that a beginner should look at, but also some information about some next things to explore, what some starter pens would be, things that don't break the bank. I'm looking at primarily that $25 to $30 range. I think the um, outlier is probably the Twisby Eco, which um, Gosh, I'm blanking on the entry price point for that, but I think it's around $50. So that would be the, the bigger price item. Um, and then some ink pieces and, um, and such. So I started jotting out some notes to kind of plan out that video. Um, yesterday, I didn't really need to do a lot of planning because yesterday I actually took a girl's trip, um, which I will talk about, I'm sure. Uh, in a bit, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk through that. Now I'm going to flip back to my monthly and what I do for my planning is I have my monthly, which, you know, you can see there's already some pieces of information, but then I look at my calendar because things are always being added to my calendar. Um, and I grab all the things and make sure that this is complete. And then being completely redundant, I go to my my dailies and I put it there. My weekly view, I like to track what actually happens. Um, and that becomes a source of information. I look at it from the perspective of if I were to be asked how I allocated my time, I would be able to open that up and, and in a very detailed way, share how my time is, is allocated. Um, so for example, here are some of the completed weeks um, where I'm kind of noting the building that I'm in and the type of meeting that I'm doing um, just to give a few examples of how I'm using that time. Um, I was at one point noting with a box the amount of time I was spending at work. I've stopped doing that. I may start doing that again. I just have been in kind of a steady groove recently, which um, has been really helpful. So tomorrow is a personal day, which is a, another reason why Thursday I really started getting into weekend mode is I have a long weekend. Um, as someone who works in a public school, I am on a teacher contract and I have three personal days per year 
Um, I recently learned you can carry one over to the next year, so yay, but um, you need to give three weeks notice for taking a personal day. So a few weeks back, I pulled up my calendar and I looked for days that I didn't already have things scheduled. Um, and so this Monday was one day that I had no meetings scheduled and I went ahead and snagged it as a personal day. Uh, unless I have something that I actually needed to do, um, I would like my personal days to become a long weekend and just like a mini refresh. Um, and all three of them that I selected for this year are going to end up extending a weekend, which is really nice. All right. So, oh, this is fun. Um, all right. I have just checking the time on this at 8.15. I have a lower elementary and once a month myself and my other district BCBA consult get together with the building team chair and we just make sure we're all on the same page with cases. So that is happening this Tuesday. And that's been really helpful. So um, 11 o'clock, I have another meeting with my colleague, but we're meeting with our boss. We do this every other week. It was scheduled for um, last Tuesday, the central office piece, but it got canceled. So we rescheduled it for today. And then at 11.55, I have an, a bi-weekly consult and we ended up also scheduling a monthly similar to the lower elementary um, consult with the team chair at the upper elementary. I may have already said that, apologies. Writing and talking at the same time, not my forte. All right, Wednesday, and I've had to move this observation a few times, but I'm gonna try again at 8.25. A student observation, and this is an upper elementary student and this got canceled. So I think that's where I'm actually gonna be able to pull this one off. Cause I've just had conflicts that have been pushing it back some weeks. 12.30, another consult. And then I have therapy at 4 30. I actually have in my personal life a conflict going on with someone right now and kind of full disclosure, well partial disclosure, partial because this is on the internet. I understand my part in the conflict and so I'm hoping my therapist can help me uh, learn some skills to not get into this type of conflict again. Um, so for me, I don't like confrontation with my loved ones. I shut down. I um, rehearse what I want to say almost to the point of making it unnecessary to say, if that makes sense. Um, so what I mean by that is by the point, by the time that I'm ready to talk about it, the other person has moved on and it no longer makes sense to them that I could or would be upset in the way that, that I am. And that can overcomplicate a very simple situation. Um, 
Again, I know that I do it. I just don't know how to not do it. Um, and, and it, hmm, I'm fumbling in my, with my words right now. Um, I'm very self-aware of it and the people that are closest to me are also, um, I've, I've communicated this to them and their understanding of it. Um, this particular person, I believe, should know this about me and it is causing a layer of upset and hurt to me that um, they are seemingly unaware or, or not caring. Um, gosh, I think that's about as much detail as I can provide in this open space. Um, but so I guess what I'm saying is I'm, I'm trying to do the self work. I'm trying to make things, uh, better for myself and for my relationships. Um, and it just causes a lot of turmoil and it's exhausting. Uh, Thursday is an early release. And um, it's a half day professional development day for the teachers. I thankfully thought ahead, which I don't often get the opportunity to do this. Um, and the different buildings end at different times, obviously busing schedules and things like that. So I typically do an 11 o'clock group for the kindergartners but my Thursday is going to be operating off of a middle school schedule, which means my half day is at 1030. So I met with the teacher this week and we selected uh, 915 for me to do my aim group so that it didn't get missed. Now, what I should have done is I should have adjusted my day and followed the half day schedule of the lower elementary building because I am there for the day. However, because I have a child, I follow the middle school schedule because he's on the middle school schedule. So that's just 98% um, of the time that's how it works out. Um, so then I will do professional development um, the second half of the day. We have Friday off, yay. Um, and then, oh, Sunday is Easter. Yay. And my mother-in-law sent me what sounds like an absolutely delicious dessert recipe for Easter, which I'm very appreciative of because the last couple of celebratory occasions that we've had, there has not been a provided gluten-free um, option and I haven't mentioned it and in fact the last one I brought my own gluten-free brownie to warm up and put some ice cream on and it worked out just fine um, but it it feels good that um, for this one she thought of me so all right getting to Sunday which is today let me put on here what I would like to work on. I'm going to zoom this in a little bit. Hopefully the focus is good. Um, so first and foremost, I definitely want to work out. I had a chemical peel earlier this week. And when you get that, you can't do rigorous working out for three-ish, three to four days. Um, so today would be the first day that I could do rigorous workout. And I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I'm going to work out journal, which I've already started, budget, five year, plan with me, film, which I've already started. I want to do my YouTube short. I've been good about doing them first thing in the morning, but yesterday and today I did not, and that's okay. I'm fine with it. Um, I need, or I want to, um, put together the ink samples 
for one of my viewers. We're doing an ink swap that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to um, bottle up the samples that they have selected and hopefully tomorrow get that in the mail. Um, I am hopefully, I was going to put pen pal letters, but I'm pausing on, right, on responding to letters because I have tomorrow a new pad of paper coming and I'm very excited about it. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I was being silly, um, but I have been using old uh, or pages from an old Hobonichi cousin and every time I write on it, as much as I love the fountain pen on that paper, I hate the fact that I'm using torn out pages from an old unused planner. So I got some paper with the specific intention of writing pen pal letters. So there will be some letters getting written tomorrow. Yay. Um, I need to do some laundry. Um, I want to really finish uh, Empty Eyes. It's a book that I, my lady friends and I read as our book club and um, I was a few pages away from the end when we did our lady day yesterday and our intention was to talk about the book on our drive, um, which we were supposed to go to Laconia, but uh, New Hampshire got hit with a, with a really significant snowstorm and it was projected to get up to 12 inches. So we ended up canceling our reservations in Laconia and did a quick pivot and went down to Connecticut instead, went to Mystic Pizza, Mystic Aquarium, and Mohegan Sun. We had a fancy dinner. Um, and so I thought I was good to go, uh, had gotten, you know, pages away from the end and then found out in the car that there on the last page, there was a quick, um, drop of information. So while in the car, I like skipped to the, that last page and read the quick pivot. And so now I want to go back and read those few pages in between to see how we got there. Um, just so I fully understand the storyline, but great story. Um, we, part of our discussion was that the author was a male and a lot of the characters were female and it was very clear, clearly written by a male. <laughs> um, so we talked about kind of the, the similarities and differences. And I, I made kind of a provocative statement of, I feel like if you were to take a chapter in this book and drop it into an AI um, uh, web page or app or whatnot and say, write, you know, write this in the style of Jodi Pico or another uh, female author, you would have taken a chapter and it probably would have spit out about three paragraphs um, because there was a lot of overstating of the same thing over and over again. Sorry if there are any... Um, males or identifying males <laughs> listening to this. I'm not meaning to cast shade. I'm just sharing my perspective of this one text. Um, so yeah, I want to finish that. And we, I believe have selected our next book. Um, I think it's called The Inmate. I'm on a wait list through the library app to check it out um, and hopefully can get it soon. All right. So this is, um, a uh, board of director meeting at five o'clock tomorrow. And when I do this, I do put this pencil board in between because the ink does not dry that quickly. And I wanna make sure I don't smudge it onto the adjoining page. I have, just checking to make sure I'm in frame. I am, enjoy my knuckles, sorry. 8.15 consult 845 SSA lower elementary which is important because I have an upper elementary 11 o'clock is SSD 11:55 is a upper elementary consult 
one o'clock upper elementary SSA and that's all that's required 825 is an upper elementary observation nine o'clock upper elementary consult which it's getting towards the end of the school year. I might still change that because it's about every other week I have a conflict with it and I'm I'm feeling remiss at having to consistently reschedule that consult. I would be frustrated if someone did that to me and I don't want to be doing that to someone else. And then 4.30 is therapy. Hi, Barbaras. The pup just came in. She's sniffing around. All right, now we are on Thursday. We have our, we just, oh goodness, 8.15, lower elementary console, 9.15, kindergarten aim, Nine forty five is a lower elementary consult, and then ten thirty early release. And then Friday is a day off. So that would be my planning for this week easy peasy nice and simple which I appreciate and um, yeah I've been having some really really productive days doing some really fun uh, I guess coding projects at work um, which I really enjoyed doing and um, yeah all good things all good things so uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you made it to the end, I appreciate the time that you gave and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.